got another one. It's February 20th, 2023. It's uh, 10, 10 p.m. We got a, uh, another overturn call out. This one's gonna be in Tribuco Canyon. So we'll see what happens when we get on scene. Oh, it's back onto its wheels, huh? Is that the one? I know, right? All right. I think the third time in the week. Right, well, they said it's on its roof. So it's on the side. Uh, so what do you want me to do? Where's it at? It's over there. You'll see it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I can close down. Yeah, I'm gonna need the, the traffic coming down the hill to stop. Yeah. Everyone coming this way should be able to see me, but the, that hill's blind. I'm so gonna put I'm gonna put flares here. Okay. So people can turn around. It shouldn't take long. Yeah, I know. Oh, I gotta rush anyways. I got a sheriff call to get to now too. <laughs> and then, um, I'll go over there, up there, and I'll, I'll close the road. Okay. All right, sounds good. Yeah, I'll get turned around and then I'll just... How many minutes you think? Maybe five. It, it should five. be quick. I mean, it's not completely on its roof. It's just on its side. Yeah. I just get backed up and give it a quick pull and okay. get it down. All right, so I'll, I just, uh, I'll just close the road with no flares. I'll just be there. Okay. Yeah, because I think, I mean, coming this way, they should be able to see me. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll keep my truck aimed this way so they'll see all the lights on this and then they'll see your cruiser coming around Can that you put way. Can your number so I'll call you? on it we'll put some blocks down We got two hook slot. We got control arm. All right, let's do that. All right. She'll go. I don't want is it going down the damn hill. Right. All right, she's down. I'll come at it from the front and just grab the front. Thank you. 
Shoot with the quickness. Stand.
we're here, Rancho Niguel Road. I keep freaking putting it wrong. Cause it's, I keep thinking Rancho Viejo, but uh, yeah, no, we're, we're here. Well, it looks like that's the car right there, the whole conga line of sheriffs. No choice. Yeah. Oh, man. I just did this one in Tribuco. The guy flipped it over. Really? You guys are keeping me busy tonight. All right. Yeah, no worries. That's a Benz. I got to load this one from the rear. Yeah, it's a rear wheel drive. It's all right. You guys are good because what I'll do is I'll just move my truck out of the way, drive it up forward, and then come around from the, from the back side. The 949. Eh, yeah, it's an E350. Hello. Yeah, yeah, I need a flatbed. I can't do this one. It's it's too low in the front and it's a rear wheel drive. I can't. <laughs> Nah, I fucking, I, I pulled it up and I turned around. I'm grabbing it from the ass. Fuck it. Yeah, I got it. All right, bye. good enough. as high as I'm gonna go with it. Noses are kind of low on these. All right, yeah, we're good there. I will double check. I'm almost positive this thing is a two-wheel drive by the rear. Quickly, just to make sure. Yep, no fun driving axles in over here. Okay. Right. Run over the Yanta. This one drives. I'll pull up at the gate, I'll drop it, and then I'll pull in and drop the other one.
deeper lower. I have to because this this one is gonna, gonna leave some room for the nose and a little low on the front. Just a tad bit. Seat belted the wheel. I'll pull out of here, I'll pull somewhere else and just do a whole bunch of other stuff. Yeah, get a boot under that, no problem. Get to light. Alright guys, y'all have a safe night. Alright, more until so we get back to the yard. Alrighty guys, we are getting back. So we're gonna drop the uh, Mercedes outside the gate, drive it in, and then um, I'll pull it in and drop the uh, rollover. This is going to be easier that way because there's no point in me freaking... Actually, you know what? Yeah, no, because I don't want to pull in uh, with the bends. It's kind of a... The driveway is kind of a little steepish. So let's drop that one and then we'll, uh, we'll pull in. I'm not gonna pull the bends all the way in. I'm just gonna pull it in enough to get it out of my way so I can pull in and drop the rest. That way uh, I can get that done and over with. I'm gonna take a picture right quickly though because I need something for screenshot or the thumbnail. All right. I got uh, brand new safety chains. They're uh, Bluetooth. You know, gotta love those. The Bluetooth safety chains, are, they're freaking awesome. I'm trying not to curse, but it's sadly in my repertoire of language. Yeah. I know YouTube doesn't like it, and I know some people get offended by it, but let's be real. It's almost common day uh, language nowadays sad to say it I know when I was younger I would have gotten soap in my mouth but times are different times have changed all right I've got about 30% left on this battery on this GoPro and you guys know anything about GoPros they suck batteries so let's see how long it's gonna last if I'm gonna have to change batteries again I already changed it earlier on the other rollover I kind of almost want to put them all together, but then I know how you guys hate watching two hour long videos. So I'll split them up. It'll just be uh, better that way. This will be together. So Mercedes Benz, if you know anything about Mercedes, and I've told enough of these to know, they're generally rear wheel drive, just like BMWs. Um, but you gotta be careful because the front end's kinda low on these. So you can't pick them up too high. See, that's why I pull, them, pull the L-arms out before I back up to the car. Because sometimes you get a little close and they don't wanna come out. And you can see, like, I literally got finger width there. Put that back in. No. Yeah, if you're too close to it, that can become an issue. Just enough to not hit the ground, but enough to pull it in. And I'm far enough away I can put in my sliders. That would be the, the Nissan screaming because it's probably still in gear. 
that was ideally why I uh, put the blocks down because if it was to roll I didn't want it rolling down the mountain when I flipped it a few times where it's a necessity to use the blocks okay we're gonna throw that in the truck or we're just gonna throw that right here and now I will put my straps away take these bags put them up top or something out of the way all right so I need to open the gate need to put the Mercedes in and then we need to pull in and drop the uh, Pull in and drop the uh, Sentra, I think it is. I think it's a Sentra. Oh, it's an Altima. Either way, it's uh, it's an. It doesn't matter now. Oh, uh, the worst thing about rolling out is 90% of the time I have to use the bathroom, and then I hold it and I roll out. I come back an hour or two later and. I gotta go like a freaking racehorse. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not good. It's not an approved steering wheel tie method, but it does work. I will tell you that much. Now, camera recording just in case. Bunch of change. I'm gonna guess this was a deuce. We got 91,685 miles on the clock. Woo! She got some usage. Do not command distract you from, do not let command distract you from, oh, okay. Just trying to tell you that, hey, by the way, uh, you're responsible for this thing. Oh man, the damn parking brake doesn't want to release. Okay, well it's off now. No, it's not. <sighs> this sucks. Ah, there it is. Okay, you gotta pull it. I thought she was kind of newer than she really is. She's a little older, but it's a nice car. They're gonna come get it. No. I'm gonna pull it in. Actually, I'm gonna back it in. But I'm just going to back it up to the edge right now, and then I will just back it the rest of the way in once I get done dropping the other one. Why? Because I don't want to waste a lot of time. I want to get my deck unloaded. Good thing what that Nissan is, I can't see a lot of fluid, but I'm expecting oil because you can't roll a car over. And there not be like a crap ton of oil. That's just a typical norm. Because the motor went on its side or upside down, so a lot of the oil went to the top. All right, cut this off for now. All right, let's pull in and get the other one unloaded. We're going to drop it next to the other rollover. I did get the key, so that'll help uh, put it in neutral and whatnot. Oh, let's go do that. Yeah, she's leaking a little bit. Not as much as I expected. I expected it to be leaking a whole lot more. Put my light bar back. It's actually on a brand new battery last. I just replaced the battery on it. Because I inadvertently hooked up the wrong charger. And, uh, yeah, I fried it. There's a place around the corner from me here called Battery Plus and Bulbs, and they have the battery in stock. Um, the only thing is, is I just had to uh, do the change up the connections because the one that Tomate puts in there now is soldered, and the one I got is a uh, quick disconnect. So, yeah, just cut the wires off, put the disconnects on. It's not a big deal, it's easy enough to do. Carefully on the gate, don't turn into it and kill it. But, got trash cans here. Okay. Let's see what the hell that is. Nothing important. All right, we're gonna drop this one next to the Range Rover. that 
damn cone. It's still in neutral, that's why it's uh, beeping. Okay, so we're going to set that one down there. I think the back wheel... I think the back wheel got screwed up. See how much battery power I got left. Oh. Can't tap the screen right now. So does it say on the front? It says on the front. We've got like almost no battery power. So let's see if we can get this off quick enough before the battery dies. <laughs> Probably the fastest roller I've done in a long time. I know you guys can't see really well at nighttime. GoPros are horrible for uh, low lighting. They don't uh, do very well. That's actually the reason I got the Illumigear headlamp was to add light so you guys can see what I'm doing. It's more for you guys than anything. Cool thing is, since it's for YouTube, it's actually a guys are subscribed or not it, it, YouTube shows that about 20% of my viewers are subscribed and then the rest are just searchers but hey it's all good subscribe don't subscribe it you know the other day I mean I got more subscribers than I ever thought I would have I would like to see my channel have a hundred thousand but yeah let's be let's get realistic goals here <laughs> you know, we hit, we hit the we hit it for 200 200 or 2,500 subscribers, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, hey, if you guys want to, feel free to share. You guys can absolutely share the videos. I got no problem with that. I'm gonna let her down with the winch cable this time. I just need to watch how close I'm getting to that edge. All right, we're about at the edge. I need to bring the deck in. And what I'll do is I'll bring it forward and then drop her down a little more. Okay, let's put her back into park now. Since uh, she's still in, uh, usually still in whatever gear it was in. Yeah, see, there we go. Uh, you can see the, the copious amounts of glass. There isn't really anything of value inside this car. Center console is pretty well empty. So, I mean, that's an upside. The guy didn't have a lot of stuff, so that's kind of cool. That saves him. But, yeah, anytime somebody flips a car, you can almost guarantee that it's going to be left in whatever gear they were in while they were driving. Because the last thing you're thinking about is, let me put the car back in the park. Let me put the e-brake on. Let me do any of that stuff. No, usually that never happens. This is the reason why we chalk the wheels when we're flipping it over, unless we know for sure that it's in park. Yeah, she leaked a little bit of oil, but that's not really too bad. In fact, I'd probably clean that with the dirt I got right there. So, I'm actually going to do that real quick before I roll the bed in. And... I will, uh, I will put my cable back. I like my cable in. It's a preference thing. So, you know, there's no standard on where to have it. You put it however you like it. I like it in because it's out of my way. So for the stuff I do that I don't need it, I don't have to fight it. Like if I do a motorcycle, then I gotta move the cable out of the way. If I gotta drive up, it's the same thing. Yeah, see? I mean, it's not 100% clean. Crappy part is, I literally just washed my deck after that one. But, eh, it's okay. It's clean enough. We'll 
send that with the car. The car can keep it. We do we do want to clean it because we don't want sending uh you see there's some rocks and stuff in there. If I go driving down the road and I don't clean that stuff off, then what happens is it goes into somebody's car. And then that can be an issue, you know. If I got stuff on the back and it sends something into somebody's windshield, uh, technically I'm liable for that. <laughs> it's called loose load and you're responsible for anything it damages. Especially with damage to somebody else's car, so ideally we don't want that stuff like that. We want it uh, clean. You know, we don't want to be messing some stuff up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna respool my cable here right quickly. I just want to make sure that it's starting right, and if I need to pull it out more, I will. Yeah, see from that last rollover. She didn't spool right. She jumped a lot. Okay. All right, there we go. Now I'll just I'll wind it back in, clean it up. Oh, forgot how high that was. I got a light. It helps to see what's going on. When I'm doing this, this is all part of the uh, experience. Actually, let me cut the uh, bed lights off because they're blinding me. Yeah, see, now I can see a little bit better because I don't have the, uh, the blinding of the lights. It helps. So what I'll do is I'll put my flashlight right about here and I'm not really putting a lot of tension on the cable. I'm just kind of guiding it. I'm letting it light itself. It's going really nice. Okay. And I'm just going to let it light itself for the last bit. cables wound really decently it will uh it will wind itself for the most part you just kind of have to guide it a little bit but that is the negative of having 100 feet of cable on that uh, winch flatbeds typically come standard with 50 feet but the deck is 22 feet long almost it's 21 and a half feet long so you lose 21 and a half feet of cable just from the length of the bed alone and then you lose another about five feet or so on the drum because you have to keep five wraps. So there's that. So which realistically gives you about 25 usable feet coming past the deck, which isn't a lot. See, I went in too far. I heard the locks click. Once you get to a certain point, it, the deck locks, you can't go up and down with it anymore. But for recoveries and stuff like that, we need more cable, so... The winch can handle up to 143 feet of cable. Basically 150 feet of cable. Uh, we don't buy 150, we get 100 for the wreckers. So we pretty much just use 100 feet across the board on all of our trucks. Especially over here since we use flatbeds a lot more for uh, recovery work. Um, the whole terrain over here is pretty pretty screwy so we have to uh you know one we show we generally show up with the flatbed to pretty much most of our calls uh big reason actually that to use a flatbed too is like tonight